The Netherlands. Just a century ago, only 1% of the Netherlands was covered by forests. Reforestation programs, however, resulted in a 10% increase. The Utrecht Hillside National Park is one of the most forested areas in the Netherlands and it's one of the most spectacular seasons of the year. Autumn. It's a magical sight when the city's trees start to change colors. In the middle of this color festival, I'm visiting one of my favorite little villages in the region. This well-known village by locals doesn't get much attention from international tourists, so it stays a real off the beaten path little gem. Let me show you this beautiful place. This is a story about Amrongen. Hey guys, how do you do? It's a beautiful autumn day. I'm in Amerongen. But first, let's grab a coffee. I park my car next to the bakery. Let's see what delicious delicacies they sell. I enter the bakery and the smell of freshly baked bread makes my mouth water. But what really gets my attention are all the pastries on display. Let's try some of my favorite cookies. It's always a good idea to start the day with a good cup of coffee, but I found something more interesting. I found my favorite Dutch cookie, and this is what it looks like. These are stroopwafels. These are like waffles filled with syrup. And they prepare it in the following way. They knead the dough, take a little piece from it, put it in a hot waffle iron, and then they bake it for only one minute. And they do that so the inside remains soft. Then they cut the thing in a round shape and they also cut it horizontally so you get two pieces. On one of the pieces they put the syrup and then they stick it back together. Then you get this delicious cookie. Mm. Really good. Amrongen is about a thousand years old, but many buildings were destroyed in the disastrous year 1672 when the French invaded the region. Luckily, a lot of buildings are restored. The village is full of monuments. This was formerly the center of this little village. It was the place where the market was held. And there are still a lot of beautiful and interesting historic buildings surrounding this place. So let me show you those. The central square in Amrongen is beautifully lit by the autumn sun. It's a long time ago that market vendors filled this place every week, but the church tower has dominated the skyline for many centuries. The most interesting building here around the square is the Andrieskerk. This church was originally constructed in the 1300s, but it got a lot of times damaged and eventually the tower was replaced in 1527 with the current tower, which is 55 meters high. Let's have a closer look. I find it really impressive. Amrongen is located in such a beautiful place between the floodplains and the national park. And there is so much history in this little village. On the square you have another interesting site, which is not really a building, but it's a tree. This is the Wilhelmina tree. And this tree was planted when former queen Wilhelmina ascended the throne in 1898. That's why it's called the Wilhelmina tree. That's an old lady. Queen Wilhelmina was born in 1880 and she became the queen of the Netherlands in 1890, although her mother was regent until she would turn 18. She sat on the throne between 1898 and 1948. Therefore, she was the longest reigning monarch of the Netherlands so far. Last and probably also least is this iron cast water pump. It's beautiful, but it's not working. But let's move on because there is an even more impressive monument here in the village. 
Not far from the main square is a castle that could have come straight out of a fairy tale. It is surrounded by a moat full of waterfowl such as ducks and swans. Amrongen's most impressive monument, Castle Amrongen. Construction of this castle started in 1286, but it was destroyed by the French in 1673. Shortly after it was rebuilt in Dutch classical style and look how impressive it looks nowadays. This castle became most famous just after World War I when the German Kaiser Wilhelm II made his residence here. He lived here for one and a half years and he even signed the deed of abdication in this castle. Amrogen Castle is one of the great Dutch houses from the 17th century. The house, garden and furnishing form a unit seldom seen in the Netherlands. And the good news is that you can visit this castle year round from Tuesday to Sunday. The Dutch countryside is mostly known for its beautiful farmlands and tulip fields. And what would a village in the Netherlands be without a typical black and white cows? I find a really cute one grazing just outside the village while I was making some shots from the tower of the church. Good morning. The downside of visiting the Netherlands in autumn is that the weather can change any minute. Unfortunately it's getting cloudy, but I still have to tell you the most important part of history of this beautiful little village. And that history is best told at the Tobacco Museum. The Tobacco Museum, which is open on Wednesday to Sunday between April and November, tells a story about a forgotten part of history of the Netherlands. The cultivation of tobacco was widespread in this region. There are many tobacco barns. The cultivation of tobacco was really important for this little village. Actually, this was the center of the tobacco industry here in the Netherlands. In the 17th century, they discovered that on the southern slopes of the Utrecht hillside, the climate was a bit warmer and therefore perfect for the growth of tobacco. The glorious days of the tobacco industry lasted up to the 1960s. But after that it declined because the quality of the tobacco could not compete with other sides of the world. Nowadays there is this beautiful tobacco museum here in the village and they show you this beautiful history of this little village. There is also a little tobacco route which you can follow which leads you through a lot of interesting historic places that are related to the tobacco days of Amerongen. I'm going to walk a little bit of this route. Unfortunately, I can't visit the museum because it's closed during winter from November until April. So that's a bit pity. Anyways, let's check out the tobacco leaf route. The tobacco leaf route is a two kilometer walk through Amerongen and passes many historical sites. The route starts at the museum. You can also pick up the map of the route there. When I follow the signs of the tobacco route, I come along these beautiful examples of 17th century Dutch style homes. The one on the right here, the white one, was inhabited by one of the most famous tobacco traders here of the region. I really love it to take a stroll through these beautiful historic streets. A bit further down the road, you find this old home of a cigar producer. Cigars were sold here until 1975. It's very beautiful. And here at the building with the horn, called the Post Horn, lived a famous tobacco planter. You get the point. This village is full of tobacco history. For the full tobacco route, I would advise you to go to the Tobacco Museum yourself, because there's much more to see here in town. There's one last monument that I would love to show you though, a typical Dutch one.
The last thing I wanted to show you is this beautiful Dutch windmill dating from 1830. Built on a hill because downstairs is a drive through for horse and carriage to load their goods. I say goodbye to the beautiful village of Amerongen. I had a really nice day here and I hope it inspired you to come to this unique place in the Netherlands. If you like my video and if you like to see more interesting places of this beautiful world where we live in, then consider subscribing to my channel and give it a thumbs up if you like to watch this video about Amerongen.